evening YouTube uh, we are going to do a quick test of the full self-driving system this uh, intersection that'll be right up here when we make the right hand turn um, actually you know what I want to I want to make sure we're in the left lane when I make the turn I want to turn into the left lane here it uh, historically has kind of started to drive into oncoming traffic when we go through this intersection um, it doesn't register the lane right away and so it ends up taking kind of like this little middle left-hand turn lane for the oncoming traffic uh, as its new lane so I want to give that a test here um, apologize I thought I would get out of this parking lot a bit quicker than I am so what we're going to do is we're going to make the right hand turn, get into the left hand turn lane, or the left lane I should say, and then uh, turn on FSD and see how it handles the... Alright, so as we come up on the top of the hill, we don't want to go into the left hand turn lanes, we want to keep going straight. As we go straight, we'll kind of be going right at oncoming traffic. And so what is their left hand turn lane? What is their left-hand turn lane ends up being where this car tries to go. So these kind of this yellow marking right here, it uh, it seems to go right into it rather than rather than staying in the actual lane. So having all the luck of hitting all the traffic and the lights. All right, let's see what we do. And better. It still kind of stayed over to the left, but it actually did not go into that yellow painted lane section. So uh, I will completely take that and say that that was a, a good transition. I'll test it again a few times to see whether or not that's a true improvement or just a one-off, but uh, that looks like a pretty significant change for me anyway. So Within here, we've talked about these lanes before. A uh, little bit of like an S turn to it. The lanes feel a little narrower than a typical lane. And so the car will sometimes feel like it's got a little bit of a drift to it. Um, I'm gonna test this again tomorrow. I'm not sure what time, probably over the lunch hour. But uh, I'd like to get like a full test from all the way down from 364 and get you guys the experience of coming off the highway, making a left-hand turn onto this road, um, and then managing managing this road itself. So, so far, uh, not bad actually. It feels like an improvement. The braking, you know, I find it interesting. I've watched a lot of other YouTube videos of what people put out there, so it's it's curious to like hear other people's perspectives and then people are like oh it's so smooth and I'm like man I feel like I'm maybe it's just my luck in terms of like when I'm hitting lights but like this this was a nice smooth break everything was fine the last one it hit the yellow it braked really really hard um, so we'll see And I think, as I've said before, uh, you know, I do raw video footage on this. Um, I try and talk to the experience as if, you know, we're coming up on the robo taxi announcement and the, the idea or the concept being like, could this be a robo taxi? I'm, I'm uh, very, very hopeful for the progress that I've seen. But at the same time, uh, I also do wonder whether the hardware we have is sufficient whether there would be, you know, needs for other items. I think very impressive in terms of uh, what has been accomplished just using the camera systems uh, that the car comes equipped with. So, and at some point I may upgrade to uh, Hardware 4. Uh, I actually, uh, we were looking at whether we were going to get like a Model Y and I, my wife is going to be the primary driver of that particular car, and so she liked it, but just to be safe, I was like, let's check out a couple others, and we looked at uh, the Volvo 
C40 and XC40. Those are fantastic cars, by the way. Uh, the there's a lot to love about those uh, those SUVs. The only negative was the infotainment center. Uh, the infotainment center was was bad, and um, I think worse than that was the camera system for the 360 and um, reversing the whole nine yards was atrocious like I, I feel like I had cars from the early 2000s that had better camera systems than than what I experienced with the Volvo and it was it was bad enough that we decided not to get one of those um, so last second I said let's go look at a Mach-E because I saw like a huge discount on a 2023 Mach-E and I could tell that she wasn't 100% sold on the Model Y something about the the not the ride quality, but just the road noise that she was hearing, it, it was bothersome to her. Uh, so we actually ended up getting, so we're in the wrong lane here. There we go. I don't know whether this person realizes they're in the wrong lane. And this is very curious to see how FSD handles this. And I actually like that it's staying back the way it is. Uh, maybe because of the speed limit, but yeah. So, um, anyway, so she really fell in love with the Mach-E. Um, obviously, it doesn't have some of the technology that, that you get with the Tesla. Um, but overall, uh, the fit and finish, she really liked uh, the infotainment center with CarPlay, because she's a big CarPlay person. She really liked that as well. So, uh, and, and to be quite frank, uh, I was very impressed with it too. Ride quality wise and fit and finish wise, uh, it does it does a much better job than uh, than Tesla does. Uh, at least at least on these these cars. The when the updates come out, that might be a, a different story. Like I, I really like the new updates to the Model Three, um, and so when that when that comes about to the Model Y, you know maybe that'll be a different a different feeling there. But um, yeah. By the way, we're going to. Uh, I, I was driving to a Costco, so uh, just curious to see how it performed. Overall, right now, um, it's actually done well. I'm very impressed with the way it handles itself. Vast majority of the time, I really feel like uh, full self driving does a fantastic job. Uh, just some, again, still some oddball cases that'll pop up, the occasional regression. Um, Fingers crossed that we're going to continue to see the improvements over and over as they come through. So, let me know if you guys are interested. I may go ahead and do something on the Mach E. Uh, the one that she got does have three years of Blue Cruise. Uh, Blue Cruise is only um, good on the highway, but it is hands free. Um, no nag, hands free as well. So, uh, maybe kind of just show what that's like in the experience. but. Uh, it, it doesn't do some of the things that a Tesla will do, obviously. Uh, you're, you're not going to be able to, to uh, like have the car make turns like it's doing right now based on what's in the navigation. Like That's something you still have to do. It basically will drive straight. You click the, uh, the blinker to indicate you want to turn and it will make the turns for you. Uh, but it won't choose when to turn. You have to, to dictate it. So, Okay. Well... I'm going to call this little, uh, I'm going to go ahead and kill this for a second, um, but I'll go ahead and call this, this portion of the drive a success and see if I can map out maybe another little turn by turn uh, that we can take just for a little bit more of an experience. So, thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.